So here's a nice little flow drill you can do. Um, whether or not your partner has jujitsu experience, you may have a brother or a sister, or you may have a, a spouse or significant other that trains jujitsu or roommate that trains jujitsu. This will be really effective. If not, you get to have a chance to kind of walk them through the move and help them and develop their technique, right? And they can help you develop yours. Okay, so if you're going with somebody a little less experienced, you may have to kind of walk them through this. If not, you can start doing this right from the very beginning. So I'm in closed guard. I'm looking to control the biceps, keep him from being able to get a good strong grip on me. I'm gonna work my way up, floating rib, hip. Okay, from this point, the knee that is on the same side as the floating rib goes in the tailbone. I slide my knee back, flip my knee up to break the guard. Okay, now once I break the guard, we can work whatever pass we feel comfortable with here. This is the opportunity to work all kinds of different techniques. So don't feel like you just need to work the one you're good at over and over and over. Work these different passes. Okay, so for instance, we could pop up to a combat base. We could go to our knee slice pass. Underhook, slide through, hip stays heavy on, the, on his hip. I lift his elbow, step through, step in and get my pass. Okay, once we get to the side control, I'm gonna start thinking about going to the mount. Okay, so a really good way to get to the mount would be switch my hips, block the legs, bring my knee across, and make a little hole right here, bring my knee through the hole, flip through, and get my mount. Okay, once I get my mount, Alex is going to bump, trap, bridge, roll, and escape. Okay, now we're here. We're back in the closed guard. He's going to break my guard. He's gonna work whatever pass he wants. So this one's an underpass. He's reaching through, grabbing my far lapel. Very important detail. Gotta to get to the lapel, come around, side control. Now, okay, from there, I trap, trap the arm, trap the foot, bridge, roll, come up to my knees, get my inside position, and we keep going. All right, we can work back and forth. Just be mindful of your space. You'll notice we did this in about a eight by eight space. All right, so if you have a room, you can use the, the little bit of space. Just be conscious of where you're escaping, where you're rolling, what side you're passing to. Um, and it should be pretty easy to, to work with a partner. Like I said, if you have somebody who's less experienced, maybe walk them through it very slowly a few times, get them to understand what's happening. And then in the long run, they're gonna be a lot better training partner for you. So give that a shot, see what you think.